Lucky Rima Aipa, her children and grandchildren are on their daily search for water in northern Kenya's dry and harsh Trukana County. There's a drought in some parts, and that means they have to go farther and dig deeper to get the water. And when they find the water, it does not matter how dirty it is, they have to make do. Waterborne diseases here are common. Aipa has not heard about the discovery of a large volume of underground water 30 kilometers from her home. Getting food and water has always been a struggle for my family and I. If what you're saying is true, then our life will change. I just hope it's not just another false promise. This beacon marks one of the two aquifers that have been discovered. They may be large enough to supply the country with water for 70 years. People here always knew that there is water underground. This area is called Loikitipi, the local language for land of water. It's where different rivers meet before heading on to feed Lake Trukana, a lifeline to thousands. Drought-related deaths are common in this region. Chuareng Lobek shows us her brother's grave and tells us that at the time of his death, he was severely malnourished. Such deaths are what the government wants to stop. The water will be crucial for irrigation. With a good supply of water, Trukana can produce enough food to sustain its one million people. Our first priority now is to ensure that the people, the communities from Turkana itself, benefit from the water. Thereafter, we can see how the rest of the country can also enjoy uh, these resources. But it will take a while before the water finally reaches each person in Turkana. This family, on hearing about the discovery, moved closer to the aquifer, which has been sealed for now. Dejected after a couple of days, they decided to move on. They're heading to the border with Sudan, maybe even into Sudan itself, a two-day journey. They hope that by the time they come back, they won't have to move again. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Trukana.